Hey, what's up, you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? Now, imagine Doom blended with Borderlands-styled weapons in a roguelite setting with a soundtrack that sets your adrenaline absolutely pumping. That's what RoboQuest is, but it's also a game where on higher difficulties, you need to be pretty good with your movement and your dodging because enemies hit like trucks, and the blend of shooting and dodging is what's going to keep you alive long enough to actually complete the game. Now, this game is honestly a must-have. It is a game for all ages as well. Now, first up, a big shout out to Starbreeze and Rise Up for sponsoring this video and for introducing me to RoboQuest in the first place because I was not expecting to end up playing one of the best FPS roguelite experiences out there as an actual sponsor. It is a gem. RoboQuest is available right now on Steam, Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, and Epic Game Store. And there's even a demo on Steam if you want to test it first. It retails for €25 Euro or about $25. Now, the soundtrack is by Noise Cream who have done music for games like My Friend Pedro and Midnight Fight Express, so it is a bona fide banger of a soundtrack. My only downside to RoboQuest would be that I would love if it had a four-player option with bigger swarms of enemies so that more of my friends could jump in and we could all have a blast together, but that's pretty much it. And who's to say that that won't become a thing as they continue to add content to the game? Now, I've been playing this over the last week on stream with one of my friends, blasting our way through randomly generated environments from canyons to the oasis to all the way up to the moon with over 70 different weapons to pick up with random affixes on them and stats, six different robot characters to play and unlock each with their own abilities, 10 different bosses to battle each with their own arenas and a base camp that has persistent upgrades that tweak your playstyle for deeper diving into the game and to give you more weapon choices and more weapon options as you make your way through the roguelite campaign that will eventually make you more powerful and harder to kill and of course increase your overall enjoyment. Now, RoboQuest is a bright and colourful FPS that you can play solo or co-op. It's all about moving fast, shooting faster, and jumping into randomly generated environments within 15 different missions as you make your way through the game's story with Max and her companion Guardian Robot as they battle evil robots to make mankind have a chance at surviving, making your way to the bosses while upgrading your weapons and perks along the way. They went absolutely all in on the comic book aesthetics and they totally nailed it when it comes to the cinematics. Now, it is an FPS roguelite, which of course means each run is going to be different because you're going to pick up different weapons each time. You're going to find different perks. You're going to go down different pathways and fight different bosses. So it has got plenty of replayability. Now, it's been in early access since 2020, but it has now entered 1.0, and you can tell just how much the game is appreciated by its community simply by looking at the reviews on Steam, along with the hard work that the devs have obviously put into the game over the last three years to polish it so that it would be ready for that 1.0 release. The game is incredibly well optimized and well polished. There's about a solid 20 hours to beat RoboQuest for the first time, with about maybe 30 to 40 hours to uncover all of its secrets, all of its unlocks, and to master, of course, those higher difficulties as well, like I said, where the enemies do hit a lot harder. But listen, honestly, RoboQuest is easily one of the best FPS roguelites that I've ever played, but the best way to showcase a game like this is through footage without me talking over it. So that you can listen to the tunes, see the weapons, see the gunplay, and honestly, go check out the demo and the game for yourself. I promise you it is 100% worth it. So here is some footage with a friend from my streams during the week. Have a great day, have a great week, and as always, thanks for watching. El Mosquito! El, El Mosquito! Oh no, dude, he's aerial, he's aerial. He's healing, he's healing, he's healing, he's healing. This is just the DPS, is that it? Get rid of those bombs. Wait, they're crazy. Oh, dude, they're eggs. They're eggs. Oh, they're God. eggs. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can see that now. The low health eggs, at least. You know? Oh, my God. That hurt. God, he was shooting my clone that entire time. That was so good. The eggs don't have the red stuff around them, they're inside the smoke. Oh, 
Don't worry about the eggs, I'll get the eggs. You, you just keep it before you move him. He's one! He's one! There we go. Oh. First try. I don't know what Twitch is, you know. I deserve to die there. I fucked up so bad. Okay, you're tanking that. Yeah, I was. That's I, was, That's I, was I was. I was backed up against. I mean, easy, 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 easy. I'm just gonna set him on fire. Wow, that hurt. Spinning way longer than he usually does. Didn't he just? That's when you have 4% feet. There we go. That's not too bad. It's fine. You didn't get touched. Nope. No I one. got destroyed. He went there. <laughs> yeah, I literally got back out. Uh, it's Steam Achievement. Take no damage against the boss. <laughs> Alright, Billy Bear Bum, let's go.